Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the ring doorbell and the chime, also with a compatible transformer. I'll be replacing this new tone doorbell. Which is right there. This is the transformer that I'll be replacing. It's the electrical box. So the first step, I'm gonna have to shut off the breaker that goes to the doorbell, but I have no clue which one. So I'm gonna take off the four screws and try to locate the wire going to the transformer. So I just took off the panel now I have all the circuits exposed. As you can see, the transformer is connected to this wire nut that has um, one of the main black wires. If you can see, it's going to this 15 amp breaker, which is um, shuts off the basement lights. So. Right now I'm going to be disconnecting this transformer and I'll get back to you. So now I have the transformer disconnected. I have the black wire exposed with the breaker off, 15 amp. Disconnected the neutral. I don't know if you can see back there, it is a like a manifold where all the um, the common wires go into. So now I have to go upstairs, get the new generator, remount it to the hole, connect it, and close the panel. So this is the old transformer. This is the new one. It comes from Max Dot. So I opened inside the box. You get your power transformer user manual. This one is 16 volt, uh, fully compatible with the ring doorbell. The old one was 10 or 12 volt, I believe. So it didn't have enough power. Outside the box, this is the new transformer. To connect these wires to circuit panel then connect these to the doorbell um, has a new um, plastic ring compared to the old uh, metal ring to connect it to your panel so I'm gonna go reconnect this and get back to you okay so I just connected the new transformer fully mounted connect to the hot and cold wire neutral connected to the other grounds breaker is still off and now I have to connect the two doorbell wires should have probably done that before but after that I'm gonna put the panel back on and proceed to the ring doorbell upstairs outside so I actually disconnected it to connect the wires it was gonna be too difficult if I didn't I'm too close to the wall but I'm gonna reconnect that and continue from there So the first step on replacing the ring doorbell is you have to shut off the breaker, of course, for the transformer. Next, I'm going to be removing these two screws, removing this and exposing the wires. Okay, so next step, I'll have to remove this tape. Inside the box, you have your manuals, all that. The ring itself, you also get a, a screwdriver with a hex bit, also says ring on it. You also get a jumper. 
and mounting screws. And these two small Phillips screws. Important product information, quick start, user guide, and you get a little sticker so you can put on your front door or whatnot so people will know that they're on camera. The minimum voltage for this is 10 volts and the max is 24 volts. Um, just want to show you this just in case your transformer is not capable. Since we won't be using our doorbell and I'll be using the ring chime, you will need to install this jumper wire. To do that, you need to locate your doorbell Remove the cover and look for the front and the trans and that's where you will be connected the jumper directly to the front and the trans connections. As you can see, I have it connected to the front and the trans with the jumper wire. It's as easy as that. Now you have to just put the cover back on. If you want to get rid of it, you can do the same connections, wire nut them, put it back in the wall if you want. Next step, you have to pull off the faceplate. What you do is you, you pull from the back and you press on the front and the top should just come off. When you do that, you'll have a piece of plastic. I'm going to remove that when I'm finished. When you turn it around, you have the two connection ports for the wires that are coming out of the wall. The next step is I'm gonna be taking these screws, using these holes as a mount. I'll be using my level and I'll be mounting it to the correct position. I will then remove it and connect the wires, then proceed to mount it again. So right now I have it connected to the wires. As you can see, I have the holes ready to screw it in. I'm gonna do that right now. So final step is to remove this film. Now you grab this cover, place it on like so. Final step is to grab this screw, this hex screw, which you can see right here. comes with this ring screwdriver. You're going to be screwing it right in that hole right there. And just tighten the screw and it will secure the cover to your ring doorbell. Okay, so last step, we're gonna be unboxing the Chime doorbell and installing it. So just pull off the tab in the back. When you open it up, it says, let's get started. Pull that out, quick start guide. Out of the box, this is it. This is the ring doorbell. You plug it in the wall and there's a reset button. So I decided to install a ring in this outlet because this is my aunt's house and she wants the doorbell heard upstairs. This is the old doorbell right there. So we'll be plugging it in right here. You'll have to do a um, update on the software on your app. Okay, so after you plug it in, you have to go to your phone and click add devices. I'll be adding the chime. So you press set up chime. Next step, you have to set up your device by scanning the code on the back of your chime. Choosing the name of your chime, I'm going to do hallway. Chime is on.
Next, you have to plug it in. Wait up to two minutes for the chime to get ready. Once the light on the front begins flashing green, continue to the next step. Connect to Wi-Fi, searching devices. Connect to device. Once you connect your chime to your Wi-Fi, it'll proceed by connecting. Success, your chime is now set up and ready to protect you. So that's it, it's all set up. You can figure out the rest in the app. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.